Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Michelle. Beanie's back there laying down. If you watched our last episode, which I'll link above here, you will know that we just wrapped up a day exploring the Gold King Mansion and Mine in like Yakka Wiki Up area. And the, we last left you when I just successfully navigated one of the hardest grades and dirt roads that I have in a long time possibly ever and we just now finished the 10 mile dirt road trek back to the highway because we are headed on another adventure we've got about an hour on the road to our next spot and we will see you there and welcome to our home for the next two days. We are here at the Stagecoach glamping site in Yucca, Arizona. This is an adorable area that is absolutely blowing my mind with how pretty it is. Totally did not expect it. We are tucked back on a piece of private property that has several tents, but they're nicely spaced apart, so I can't really see the other tents. Um, you are surrounded by Joshua trees, like bigger than I have ever seen before, and everything is ready and set up in this home sweet home. So I'm gonna get checked in. I see an envelope with my name on it, and then we'll show you around. This is super nice. It has your little welcome kit uh, right on your glamping tent name. Uh, this is super, super nice. Oh, awesome. It gives you your information, emergency information. That's super nice. And then they even have some things for sale, including additional firewood. So what's really cool is they provide firewood and then you can buy additional firewood, which was something I was worried about because I really wanted a fire and I couldn't get wood on the way out. I tried at three different gas stations, nobody had it. So that's awesome. So got my little check-in, great little personal way of doing this. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek at the tent now. Welcome to my crib. Cheers. We've already got the bourbon and ginger going because it is that kind of day. But let's show you around the stagecoach. Stellar something. Glamping tent. All right, awesome. The first area we have is the kitchen area, which is off to the side here. First, I was like, oh wow, that's really close to the road, but my road actually dead ends. So it's just this little loop. So it's just close to where I drive, but we have an awesome picnic table covered, uh, which is really nice for you. Um, the charcoal grill, I did bring my grill just because coffee. Um, and then you have a little light section with the best feature ever an actual fire extinguisher. It's very rare you find those. And then over here, you have really nice um, fire pit. I didn't realize the grate was on there. Oh, cooking outside would have been amazing, but I have so many leftovers from Thanksgiving that I have to eat. So it comes with some firewood. Obviously, you've got your shovel to put your fire out because fire safety. And something that's really cool on this other side that I didn't know existed till I got here was actually each tent, ouch, oh, prickly things, has their own composting toilet. How wild is that? Like, there's a bathhouse, so I brought my shiwi just figuring I would do the shiwi thing, um, not realizing there was a composting toilet right outside, which is awesome. And like I said, yes, there are other tents, but there's nobody behind me, so they're not gonna see. So, all right, let's head on in. Each tent has its own private platform with the two chairs. I obviously, it's just me, so I just got my own chair. And then you just come in the tent. The tent door rolls up. It actually has PVC pipe at the end, which is way more convenient than the glamping tent I stayed at, that was just wily. Um, and then you're in your tent. I did bring my own lights because I'm extra bougie. So the lights hanging above me are mine because I have to. So let's spin you around and show you what it looks like. All right, you do have a queen size bed in the tent. This is my bedding. It comes with quite a bit of bedding, but because I have a dog that sleeps on top, I always like to try to bring my own blanket and pillow just to keep their stuff nice and clean. It came with some extra blankets, but nights are gonna get pretty cold, so I definitely am glad that I have my thicker blanket. 
Um, the Jackery is mine. There is no power other than at the bathhouse. So I brought my Jackery to plug in my lights. These lights are also mine. All right, we have gotten unpacked, settled in, got my drink. And honestly, I'm so tired. Yesterday it was Thanksgiving day. It was super busy. I was on my feet from 4 a.m. till the time I went to bed, so super tired. And then today's been go, 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 go with the Gold King Mansion. So the beauty about glamping is now I'm settled in. Easy peasy, took two minutes. And I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the evening, make some dinner, I'll bring you along then. But for now, we're gonna chill. <laughs> Be gone. Decided to take a little walk, evening walk, before I make dinner. So it looks like I'm the only one on the property tonight. Um, none of the other tents are set up for people. They don't have their names on them, nothing. So I have a feeling I'm the only one out here tonight, which is super cool. Um, so I learned a little more lay of the land that if things are fenced, you can't go on it. If they're not fenced, they're wide open, a federal BLM land. So you can actually just explore to your heart's content. Um, so I've already come up against a few cattle ranch fences on the property, which is really cool to see. Um, and then I also found out some tidbits about this area. So we are actually off of Alamo Road, which actually used to be part of the Stagecoach Journey West. Um, so super cool. Like this area was known for having stagecoaches travel through cowboys and cattle and miners and uh, the miners are gone. Stagecoaches are gone other than my tent, which is named Stagecoach, but the cowboy and cattle are still here, which is really cool. So um, really cool little piece of history. Apparently you can find some mining claims and stuff around here. So tomorrow we're just gonna explore around and try to find some history. But right now we're just meandering around on some of this free federal land. And actually we're still on the property of the tent because as you can see that is cattle king's lookout because there's actually grazing cattle over there so really cool really unique way of using their own ranch to celebrate the history as well as allow people to visit so um Feeny is somewhere i gotta go find him bye spot the coyote yeah Coyote, are you at home? You at home in the desert, baby? You absolutely are. So I think I found my favorite glamping tent here. This is Hacienda Haven. This is on its own little private, like roundabout, I guess. And this is your view. Yeah. I definitely think it's the most private. It's really close to mine. Um, but you can't really see it from mine, um, but it has nothing in front of it. Um, I'm not sure what the theme is inside. It actually doesn't even look like there's anything inside, so I'm wondering if this isn't new or... Oh, never mind. There's a bed in there. <laughs> I love it. Um, cinematic investigation at its finest. But yeah, this is definitely... This has the view. And I'm pretty sure the best Joshua tree in the house. So Hacienda Haven and the stagecoach would be great for a dual, like two people, two groups, because you're close enough that you could hang out with each other, but far enough that you'd have some privacy. And then actually the cattle overlook one would be a great for a third couple. I think the toilet's in the middle of the desert. Hold on. <laughs> My investigative prowess is just stunning. Yes. Lulu is got a view. Cracked myself up. No, I'm not even drunk, people. This is just me in all my glory.
I'm learning more stuff and things on this evening walk. And that is they actually have campsites too, which I think is really cool to open up land like this where maybe you're newer to camping and you're not exactly fully comfortable going out like solo BLM land, but you don't want a campground. You could get out here and you're still like, there's people-ish. I mean, I'm alone today, but like the main house is right there. So you feel a little safer. This is a great idea for that. Um, so definitely not something I really thought about for people, but th what a great like second step into like camping is to be able to park somewhere, step out into the desert, but yet you're still, there's enough people around, unless you're here now and then there's not. Um, and there's some amenities. So yeah, there's a bunch of camping spots that are only accessible via, via your own two feet. And that's kind of what we're exploring right now. It is dinner time. Um, yesterday was Thanksgiving, so I have a ridiculous amount of leftovers. So that's actually what I'm gonna be eating for the next two days because I don't like wasting food. So we're just heating up like a total hodgepodge, but it's really hard on these Coleman stoves. Cause man, see they're like nuclear and burning everything. We're not doing anything. So, you know, dinner time, we've got the, uh, Perrier, cheers. All right, we have a big bowl of goodness. Um, literally just everything mixed in. And of course, cranberry sauce and roll on the side. It's a beautiful view. It's getting a little chilly out, which I knew. Um, I love glamping um, during the winter because when it gets chilly and dark early, you can go to bed <laughs> and you can go like cuddle up. I've got a couple movies downloaded. Um, I'll have a fire tomorrow night. I'm really tired tonight, so I don't think I would really enjoy it as much as I want to. So I'm gonna do the fire tomorrow night, but I'm gonna eat dinner, soak up the sunset, and uh, we'll see you when it's bedtime. All right, we came inside. It is only 6.45, but it's pitch black outside, and I started to get kind of headachey. I didn't really want to have the fire tonight. I'm tired, so I've got a good book on my iPad. We're just gonna snuggle in and um, read for a little bit uh, before we go to bed. So I keep hearing cows getting closer. So and some four wheelers. So I think they might be moving cattle. <laughs> so it's gonna get interesting tonight. But uh, I am on a working ranch, I believe. So <laughs> this could get interesting. But uh, other than that, it's it's beautiful out here. So I don't mind the sound of cattle kind of calming. All right, good night guys. I've been laying in bed for a while reading because it's very cold outside um, and it doesn't get daylight here until like 7, 14-ish. So it's 6, 40. So the sunrise should be slowly starting and I am overdue for coffee. So um, I'm going to bundle up um it is very cold uh luckily they had a sleeping bag here and i ended up getting that at around 10 and because just i couldn't get like the blankets the whole bed to warm up i think it'd be very different if you had two people in the bed but since it's just me it's so much space to heat up um so i couldn't get it warm enough 
So the sleeping bag came and clutch. Oh, excuse me. Otherwise, I slept like a rock. Um, once I got toasty and warm, I slept like a rock. So, um, it's time to time to get some coffee. sitting on the chair and poor kid was like shaking he's such a desert dog he's so skinny um he gets so cold it's like 34 right now i think so i mean it is pretty cold but i've got a blanket underneath of him a blanket on him and i put a hand warmer in the blanket <laughs> my dog is so spoiled y'all he would not survive in cold temps i mean he has a jacket on too so um <laughs> poor guy All right, we have spent the morning just chilling. It is 10.05. Can't tell you the last time I just chilled till 10.05. Um, so got the vest on. We are gonna go for a run. I've got an hour run on deck today as part of my training program. So we're gonna do the hour run. We'll probably go longer um, just to kind of explore. I'm just literally gonna run the road because there are so many gorgeous Joshua trees. I just wanna go explore. So. We're gonna head on out. See you then. Back. Not my normal post workout snack, but uh, we have a Coke. <laughs> And I have one pastelito that I made, um, one left that I made for Thanksgiving. Go. <laughs> All the sugar. Post run. Yeah. It must be a food yum. They got a little red. It got hot, but that was a great run. Beautiful run. He's tired now. For un momento. I'm going to eat my snack, cool off a little bit. I think we're going to go for a drive and just explore. Um, I think I'm going to go to the main road, Alamo Road. Um, we didn't run on that because there's more cars on that road. That's a scenic byway. So I think we're just gonna go explore that for a little bit. It is... <laughs> oh, come on. It is 11.21. So by the time the sack and cool down, probably be noon, go for a little trash and we'll see you then. a road to pull off on that has some rocks and little did I know there's a fire pit you can camp right here I'm gonna be grabbing that on my GPS uh, saving that because yeah this would be an amazing campsite so we're just gonna explore a little bit before heading back to camp
got fire going early, bourbon and cider. And we're making dinner, good old tomato soup and grilled cheese. I like to have an early fire because uh, I don't like the dark. When it gets dark, I go inside. So have a nice early fire, enjoy sunset, into a little bit of the dark, and then I go to bed. So I'm gonna make an early dinner. It's literally like 4.23, but I had a very light lunch. We just chilled, we relaxed, dinner time. There's some weird ass noises going out front, but it's only like 6.30 and I hear human voices, so not sure what it is. Uh, but anywho, we are inside getting cozy. It got pretty cold. I got my secret weapon of the hot hands. I put, I shake them up, get them warm, stick them in my sleeping bag. They keep me nice and toasty all night. I did change up the blankets. Um, the blanket that's on this bed is like really cold to the touch. And so poor Fiends like was only sleeping on like a little piece of the, the other blanket last night. So I grabbed an extra blanket from our car and kind of rearranged so that he has more space. And of course he's on my pillow right now. So um, typical Feeny, this is crooked, but that's okay. We're over for the day, we're done. I've got a Christmas movie downloaded on the iPad. I'm gonna watch the Christmas movie, snuggle up with Feeny, get nice and toasty warm. My other trick, because it's supposed to get to like 29, is I have the coat that I'm gonna put on in the morning shoved in the bottom of my sleeping bag. So it'll stay nice and warm as well and be a lot more cozy in the morning. So we will see you in the morning. We're all packed up. I decided to go ahead and go for my run. So we're gonna get this started. Mainly because Feeny needs some energy out. I know, been on a trip all weekend and he still needs the energy out. And I need to stretch my legs, wake up a little bit before the drive home. So we're just gonna run the property, explore a little bit. Just a 30 minute easy run today. finished up our run we did end up staying on property it was beautiful there are so many little trails and roads to meander through it was just a quick 30 minute run pimping off leash gives them a little more leeway to run back and forth get a little more uh energy out before the big ride home it's actually about a two and a half hour ride so it's not very big at all but i hope you enjoyed hanging out with us and seeing this part of arizona that i didn't know anything about yucca sounds like mm, boring but it is beautiful it is absolutely gorgeous so don't sleep on yucca i will leave the link for this airbnb below if you have any questions feel free to ask i am always available but i hope you enjoyed hanging out with us if you want to see Joshua Trees and you're worried about the National Park because you do have a dog and Joshua Tree is not super dog friendly, definitely check out Yucca. Definitely check out this glamping experience. You get to walk amongst all the amazing Joshua Trees with your experience with your dog unfiltered. So I hope you enjoyed. We are going to head on home and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video.